Hi friends, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? I hope everyone had a fabulous weekend, nice and relaxing. Yes, I am sitting outside. So I just wanted to pop in to let you know real quick. I hope you enjoy this, a different type of video than I normally do, but I needed to totally get my, my life together, my storage together um, with these budget kits. So I just thought this would be um, a fun way to show you how I did it. Now what works for me might not work for you, but I wanted to definitely put it out there. Um, excuse this, I don't blow dry my hair on the weekends. So, um, oh, excuse me. Oh, it's been, it's been a tiring day. I've been cleaning and organizing. But anyway, um, and there are a couple things in the video where I'm like, oh, hey, look at this, but you can't see it until like the end when I put it down. But I hope that you enjoy this and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? I hope everyone is doing amazing. And if you're wondering what the hell is going on here, Yes, I am in the middle of organizing all of these budget kits that all these lovely companies have sent to me. So, <laughs> I, does anybody else have this catastrophe? So the whole point of this video is to show you how you can get rid of all of these bubble mailers and um, packages and things of that nature and get everything organized and I'm going to show you um, step by step how I'm doing it. So all of this mess you see right here will be neatly stowed away in that tote under that other big old pile of hot mess right there. So make sure you follow along and go clip by clip with me because that's how I'm going to have to film this so I can show you an easy storage solution for all of your budget kits and this could even work if you have a smaller stash of larger kits as well but yeah don't mind the uh bella's drink pile right there either all right you guys i will catch you in the next clip and i hope you enjoy this oh look at this mess all right everybody so i have gotten everything organized. I have it by different sizes and all laid out in piles. So basically what I did is I got rid of all those white bubble mailers. And as you can tell, there is a lot. So I went ahead already and put two of the larger um, paintings in here. I went ahead and put the a 30 by 80 and I think the other one is also a 80 by 40 in here and basically what I did is I put one flat down with the drills facing one way all I did was take the drills and staple them up into the corner nowhere near the drilling area so that they can stay together so I'm going to take this longer one and put it the opposite way so the drills are on the opposite side. So I got this container. Um, I'm not sure what side. Oh, let me look. It's a 66 gallon um, container with wheels. I got it at Walmart. I believe it was $25. Are you going to help Zeus? You want to get through? Go on. You get through? What are you going to do? You want to get through? You checking things out? So Zeus has been helping me all day. Yes, he has. So I already know, sorry if I'm blocking things, you guys. I already know that the 50 by 60s and the 50 by 65, come on, Zeus, come on, this way, come on, come on, are too wide for um, the container. And although they are poured glue, I don't want them to get bent or dented. Zeus, come on. Get off. Come on. Come on. He just wants to help. Don't bump this. Don't bump. Oh my goodness. 
All right, so basically, I'm gonna, so I'm just gonna have to hang those up or put them in the closet on hangers because I don't want them bent up. So I have like some obscure sizes, like a 30 by 50, um, all sorts of stuff in there. And I'm just gonna go and put them up. There's 60 by 40s over here. There's 40 by 40s. Here's a 40 by 50, which should not be over here. Should be over here. Um, then I've got my 30, 35 by 35s, 30 by 30s, 30 by 40s, so on. Now, this right here are ones that I might want to access easier and quicker. I left them in here. And then I have an entire pile right here that um, I found and they have to get flattened out and go underneath the mattress. So I put those drills, separate them and just put them in a bag. I'm just gonna put them in my closet for right now. And I know you're gonna say, Miranda, why do you have so many of these? And I'm just gonna let you know that um, a lot of us creators do get um, PR, a lot of PR items. I do give a lot of these away, but Sometimes they come so quickly, you don't know what to do with them. So I'm just giving you guys options on how to store yours if you don't want like 50,000 bubble ma mailers all over the place. All right, so I'm gonna forward to the next clip for you guys. I'm gonna do a time lapse so we can speed this up a little bit and I know the dogs wanna get by. All righty, so let's see how quick I can get this done. you can see that that filled up pretty quickly and I'm not quite sure if it if I got negative space or not I also forgot to tell you what I did was on the ones that I remembered where they were from digging through a whole bunch of emails and everything is I took a sticker thanks to Whitney if you guys haven't checked out Whitney's channel I'll go ahead and I'll link it below oh I'm all out of breath um, but I put the sticker with the company's name up at the top so that way I knew where the kit would come from. I'm actually making another pile that I can put more towards the top of the ones that I know I want to work on sooner rather than later. So hopefully I can at least get all the 30 by 40s in and then I'll have to get something else for the little 30 by 30s. So let's uh, try and finish this up. They all fit. All of them fit that will be going in there, except for the ones, obviously, that have to go back under the mattress. I also wanted to point out that I have two that I can't find the drills for at the moment. So I'm just gonna stick them back in this pile to go under the mattress. Here are my labels. No, I'm not hiding any. These three you see are for Brad. So I'll just put those aside so I can give those to him when I see them. But there you have it. An easy solution. If you don't want all those bubble mailers and bags and everything, they were literally consuming everything. So the good thing about this is that, oh, the wheels are on this side, oops. The wheels are right here. Now it is a little high to go under the bedroom, the bed in my craft room, but it fits perfectly underneath my bed. You know, first world problems, minor inconvenience of me having to go in my bedroom and walk across the house to bring the ones I want to work on in my craft room. So really not an inconvenience at all. Um, I do want to mention I do have a few others, but they are double-sided adhesive. And I didn't want to put them in this container because for whatever reason, I didn't want something to get smushed or what have you and the glue get messed up. So I have those laying flat oh my god see you guys it is never ending because i have these right here so do you think i can fit them in 
Let's see if I can fit these in. We have our crab apples. We'll put that this way. We have our rude one. I'll just put our travel one right this way with the drills. And then last but not least, we'll put Stevie on top. Put it this way though. All right, now let's see. Oh, also, I forgot to show you guys about another cool option about this is you can lift up one side. So if you know one of your paintings is over here that you want, you don't have to take the entire top off and you can easily dig through. Now you'll be like, Marina, how are you gonna easily dig through all that? Well, that's why I put them by sizes. The bigger ones, and I put the 30 by 40s, then I put the 30 by 30s and whatnot on top and then these few randoms that are left. And really, it's not that difficult to go through them. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helps out. Let me know if you have any questions or anything. Remember, I got this at Walmart. I believe it was like $25, if I'm not mistaken. It has wheels. It's very durable. It's got an easy lid. And I fit a lot in there. I didn't actually count, but I know that there is a lot. So now I'll just have more room, and I won't have... It looking so cluttered in my class craft room all right you guys well other than that that's all i have you can see levi and zeus waiting not so patiently over there for me to get done but they were definitely some big helpers all right you guys i hope you have a fabulous rest of your week and i'll see you in the next video bye